here with uh, Neil Schultz, um, who's familiar to many of us in our diocese, and Robin Gamble, um, who's the author of the book Jesus 100, which is going to be launched at St. Michael's Blundell Sand. Robin, thank you very much for both of you. Thank you very much for your time. And Neil, um, why, are we, why are we supporting this in our diocese? Well, I've known Robin for quite a lot of years, and when he started writing this, he sent it over just so I could sort of have a have a read of it and see if I could make any comments. So I read it myself and loved it. And I think I loved it because it seemed to me a couple of things. One, there was a bit more to it than most Bible reading notes. There was just a little bit more content. And secondly, most Bible reading notes seem to start with a passage and work up to God. This seems particularly good at working down to my present life and how to apply the passage. So did that when I when I realized it was good for me I thought how could we use this in our church of St Michael's Blundell Sands so we came up we came up with a sort of a, a three-pronged attack number one to encourage everybody uh, to get this and uh, to work through it for themselves there's a hundred so that's five a week 20 weeks so they, they buy the book and they go through it for themselves. And we got more people doing this than any other stuff we've done before. The second thing is I went through and from each five passages of each week, I picked one out, say that one, and I turned it into a Bible study. So I've done them all here. This, that's the Bible study for week one. And we have two existing Bible study groups at St. Michael's Monument. So we said, if anybody wants to join us, and we had people wanted to join so we got more people studying the Bible. And we even started a third group because people were interested. And we also looked each week at the five and I picked one of them out to preach on. And so we preached our way through as we were studying the Bible and as people were reading it in their quiet time. It was a three pronged approach. So for us at St. Michael's, we've discovered that it has deepened our discipleship. So you've got a launch night coming up um, at St Michael's um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, details will be in, uh, with this uh, with this video. Um, what can, what who's that aimed at, and what can people expect when they come along to that one? Well, I think it would be aimed in, it would be ideal for church leaders to come along because to be able to. Robin's going to talk about the book. I'm going to have copies of the Bible studies for them, and also going to have suggested which ones are really good to turn into sermons. People can take all the resources away. But, you know, I've listened to Robin for years, and it's always a good night. So, personally, I'm going to try and get as many of my congregation along there because it will just be a really encouraging Jesus-filled night. So I think anybody can come. It's Monday the 13th of June. It's at St. Michael's Monastery. It starts at half seven. And Bishop Bev, she's going to introduce the evening. And I mean, Neil, you're known in our diocese for um, fronting up the leading your church into growth um, movement, as it were. How does how does something like this fit into into that? And how does it fit into our long stated desire to build a bigger church to make a bigger difference? Well, some people think that when you're talking about uh, growing, you're only talking about numbers. Of course, we're interested in numbers, but we're also interested in in depth and quality. This is a great way to grow the discipleship, the spiritual depth of the life of the church. That's what we're all involved in. That's what the diocese is involved in. That's what leading your church into spiritual growth is all about. <laughs>